One year ago, the world was bracing for the fall of Kyiv. Well, I've just come from a visit to Kyiv, and I can report Kyiv stands strong. <laughs> Kyiv stands proud. It stands tall. And most important, it stands free. When President Putin ordered his tanks to roll into Ukraine, he thought we would roll over. He was wrong. The Ukrainian people are too brave. America, Europe, a coalition of nations, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, we were too unified. Democracy was too strong. Instead of an easy victory, he perceived and predicted. Putin left with burnout tanks and Russia's forces in delay in, dis in disarray. He thought he'd get the Findalization of NATO. Instead, he got the NATOization of Finland and Sweden. He thought NATO would fracture and divide. Instead, NATO was more united and more unified than ever, than ever before. He thought he could weaponize energy to crack your resolve, Europe's resolve. Instead, we're working together to end Europe's dependence on Russell fo Russian fossil fuels. He thought autocrats like himself were tough and leaders of democracy were soft. And then he met the iron will of America and the nations everywhere that refused to accept the world governed by fear and force. He found himself at war with a nation led by a man whose courage would be forged in fire and steel. President Zelensky. President Putin. President Putin is confronted with something today that he didn't think was possible a year ago. The democracies of the world have grown stronger, not weaker. But the autocrats of the world have grown weaker, not stronger. A dictator bent on rebuilding an empire will never be able to ease the people's love of liberty. Brutality will never grind down the will of the free. And Ukraine, Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia. Never.